Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's July week four and so time for another prompt. Now I am going on holiday in a few days and so I'm feeling the pressure guys, feeling the pressure and so I just wanted something really quick and easy to do this week. So it's another wild card prompt meaning that you can either take inspiration from what I'm going to share today or you can completely do your own thing, entirely up to you. Now I know that many of us have got lots of these 3D pearl effect type paints. I've got um, a couple of different brands. I've got this um, Pin Flare pearl wand here. I've got the Nouveau Crystal Drops. I've also got the Dovecraft 3D pearl effects. Um, some work better than others. I love the Nouveau Drops. You just get a wonderful rounded um, little pearl type a blob. Um, the Dovecraft 3D pearl effects leave a Mr. Whippy um, type peak which I just you know don't like at all so I've got another way that we can use them for any of you that are not familiar with these, um, these are the Nouveau Crystal Drops. Um, I love these. They're just absolutely brilliant. You just squeeze a little blob out and it just leaves this wonderful um, pearl-like um, circle on your page. Great for adding embellishment. So that's what those look like. Perfectly rounded, really, really nice to use. Um, you can also buy these Dovecraft 3D Pearl Effects from the UK. They sell them in places like the Range, Hobbycraft, they're a pound 99p. I think they even sell them in Pound Stretcher. Um, but you'll see the difference in a second. Let me just squeeze some of this out. And it doesn't matter how careful you are they leave a Mr. Whippy peak. And I just, I mean, some of you might, that might be the look that you're after, but I personally um, don't don't like that. Can you see? Um, like those iced gems, as I call them. Um, I've also got um, one of the pearl ones. This is a pin flare. Now, um, this is quite nice, but this flattens out. Um, whoops a daisy. It's, it's runnier. And so you have to be a bit more careful with it. Um, it doesn't leave the, the peak, but it's a bit more temperamental than the Nouveau Drop. So that's what that one is like. But I just want to show you another way of using these for wonderful greetings cards or mixed media projects. So let me just grab um, a piece of paper. So let's start off with one of the um, Dovecraft ones. Um, these are the ones that I don't like. And what I am going to do is just squeeze five little drops out in sort of like a, a flower shape like like this there we go and then I'm going to take my little pinky finger and I'm just going to grab it at the top and drag down and just make myself a lovely flower and you just get the most wonderful, wonderful dimension. I mean, how pretty is that? And then you can take um, another colour if you want to. Let me just grab a tissue and wipe my little finger. And you can add a centre to your flower. And just how beautiful. So simple. Um, doesn't take too long to dry. You will need to set this aside. But, you know, I would say 45 minutes, an hour, and that is dry. Um, let's try another one. Um, let's do it with Nouveau Drops this time. Now, to get rid of any air bubbles, you need to um, just put a little drop on a scratch piece of paper first. So... Let's add five more petals. There we are. And again, just come in with my pinky finger. Move the paper around. And I'm just dipping my finger in and dragging it towards the centre. That's all I'm doing. Um, how pretty. Um, and again, we can take a pink this time and just add a centre to our flower. And, um, you know, just absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a go at doing some leaves. Here we go. I've got um, a green Nouveau drop here. So, and then we can add some veins if we want to as well. I mean, how pretty. Let's do another one. really like that and of course once this um, dimensional paint is dry if you wanted to go in and add more colour with watercolours then of course um, you could do I'm 
so there we go that's some um, some leaves so let's try and put um, a card together so let's have a go and see if we can create a simple card so I'm just going to add some of these 3d pearl paints one two three four five like that um, taking my pinky finger and just dragging them into a petal shape and it's pressing hard and then just lifting lifting up that's all you need to do um, so that's that one let's add a pink one as well um, one two three four five put the lid back on and again we'll do the same thing so pressing down and um, lifting up it's a really light action um, here there we go um, and then I think I want one more as well we've got all the metallics we'll add more, one more um, metallic I'm going to twist it this way round I want to just make sure that my leaves and my stems can go down in this kind of action one two, three, four, five. Let's do the same thing again. One, two, three, four, five. And then I just want to add some centers to those beautiful flowers. So I think orange will work um, quite well. So I'm just going to add just a dot of orange to the centers that is just really pretty um, I love that that's gorgeous um, and then some green so I've got my Nouveau drops um, so let's have a look let's see what we can do with this I'm going to start off at the at the bottom just come up how do I want this to go like this quite whimsical there we are and then we can add some leaves I love that let's just add a bit of a V as well there we go And then we can add some um, leaves. So I'm going to try a different couple of styles of um, leaves with this. Can you hear Louis in the background? He's just um, come in. Try drawing one there. let's just try oh pretty I love that and I've just gone in with a really really light touch with them um, with that um, do you know I want to do the same here as well so I need to add oh I've just smudged that with my finger oh pretty gorgeous 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 oh, I just kept playing I just think these are so pretty so beautiful so that's the one that um, I showed you I've done a lavender as well and then two more flowers um, just so pretty and if I hold it like that I don't know whether you can see the metallic shine um, just gorgeous now I fully intend to mount these onto watercolor paper um, just to have them as greetings cards I can't do it right now because they're not set um, hard enough these need a good 24 to 48 hours to set hard um, otherwise they'll flatten and smudge they're dry to the um, touch but that's about it um, but I hope this has given you some ideas especially if you've got some of this 3d dimensional paint 
but you know as I say um, it's another wild card this this week sorry that um, I haven't come up with something um, more original I'm just you know <laughs> I've just run out of time um, but I hope that you enjoyed this video today and um, if you did as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below um, I look forward to seeing how everybody else decides to interpret the prompt feel free to um, use this for inspiration or do something completely different if you want to um, but take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now